Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Whoops, there we go. This card before I can say anything. So I see it coming apart. Overall energy surrounding Aquarius. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, the bone collector. Piecing things back together. This is interesting. Two people coming apart here. Someone feels they need to be rescued. Okay, so it's an energy of needing to be rescued here. Look at this card. You can see somebody is at the top of this mountain, this waterfall, waiting to be rescued. And you have this person in a balloon with a telescope, very focused on this energy. So I feel what we have is two people coming apart. Okay, only to come back together again, piecing things together. There's a lot of smiles. This is putting something back together again. Ooh, rescued is interesting. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's happening. What does Aquarius need to know about this overall energy? What does Aquarius need to know about the overall energy surrounding them? Clarity, please, for Aquarius. You're speaking your truth. Maybe cutting someone out, okay? Coming apart. You want the truth. Oh, yeah. You're a little guarded and defensive. Uh, someone here is, you're not so sure what to believe here. Someone's not reciprocating. There's a lack of reciprocity. So I feel as though you're speaking up to someone. You're guarded, defensive. You may not believe someone is going to reciprocate. Or you may feel like they're reaching out to others. But it's a lack of reciprocity. I feel like as though you're tired of giving, okay? You're tired of giving to someone who isn't reciprocating. So I see that coming apart. Oh, yeah. Things are speeding up. See a message. There's been either no talk between you. Maybe someone's blocked somebody because you spoke your truth. They didn't like what you heard. Uh, you didn't tell them what they wanted. <laughs> you weren't giving to them. But I'll tell you, it's because they weren't giving to you. Lack of reciprocity. So there may be no communication. But I feel this is an energy of someone who's about to let their guard down. Or if they blocked you, they may be unblocking. Okay? So, yeah. So something coming in very quick. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming in to make peace. This is someone learning something. They're taking something they're learning from a communication. They want to make peace. They're... So it also could be yourself moving away to avoid a disaster or maybe someone blocked you uh, for some reason, all right? They may have moved on. It's in the heart of the reading. It could be either one of you. But yeah, there's a connection here, some kind of bond. you got someone who wants to make peace. They want to talk to you and they're taking something they've learned from a communication. Things are about to speed up. Messages coming in out of the blue, very busy. I see the lovers. I see a choice in love. You may have someone who's reaching out to someone else. Or maybe you told this person you wanted to know the truth if they were. You were a bit guarded and defensive. You had your guard up. You weren't necessarily believing something here. But I do feel there's this energy of teamwork and cooperation, compromise. I see that energy of two people, you know, collaborating on something. Something coming together here. Oh, yeah. Safety, security. So that's to do with a commitment between two people. Two people relying on each other. You may have felt someone didn't have your best interest. You're having a hard time believing them. Your guard is up. You're defensive. Okay? And it's an energy of defending yourself. Someone may have felt that way. Okay? They may have blocked you or whatever happened. But it's an energy of learning, moving forward. But someone's moved away to avoid a disaster. But they're somebody coming around to make peace. Now, they're learning something here. And they're taking everything they learned about their choices in love, about a decision in love here. It's to do with cooperation and compromise. Yeah, full steam ahead. Someone here has possibly lost control. Someone's coming in very quick out of the blue. See a Cancer energy. I see a Gemini energy. Libra, Aquarius. A little bit of earth and water. Yeah, two people coming apart. About to come back together here. So it's about safety, security, and financial stability. Two people looking out for each other's best interests. Full steam ahead. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Oh, yeah. So there you are, Aquarius. You know what you want. You're not settling. So I do feel like you're very focused on work, creative pursuits, things like that. Um, and I do feel as though you put your foot down. You're guarded. You stood up for yourself. You felt very defensive. And it's also, like I said, it's also an energy where you're not sure what to believe, okay? Someone is breadcrumbing or something here. 
Tell me about this guarded defensive energy. Why is this here? Oh, yeah. So some of you are keeping your feelings to yourself. You're not sure what to believe with this person. I feel like you didn't reciprocate. You didn't share a lot of your feelings. Uh, maybe this is what you want. It was this person to reciprocate. So I feel like you're making this choice to stay guarded. You're not sharing them. So this is what I feel is we got two people who aren't really reciprocating their feelings and they're about to come apart or have. So why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is this here? Yeah, you got somebody up in their head, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's two people thinking a similar thing here. This is someone who's strategy. This is a, someone who strategizes. They kind of reach out, they breadcrumb. Uh, so I feel this is somebody who may have reached out and you didn't share all your feelings with them because you weren't sure what to believe. And it has to do with this communication. It's either the way they communicated or it just came in out of the blue. It may have caught you off guard. Okay. You didn't really know what to think or how to feel. So you just kept, chose to keep your feelings to yourself. Drinking your tears. But it could be this person too in that energy. Not really sharing their feelings. Keeping them to themselves. Two people. Um, <laughs> there's definitely a lack of balance of emotional energy here. See what this coming apart is. This person's thinking about you. You may be thinking about them. Very focused on them in fact. Some of you. Yeah. It's about stability. Both of you thinking the same thing. Financial stability. Whether someone has their best interest, you're both thinking the same thing. Not so sure if each other have each other's best interest. So there's this lack of reciprocity. You're not sharing. You're not sharing enough. You're not communicating. Okay, properly here. Uh, enough to feel safe and secure, whether you can rely on this person. So you've got this person in their head, yeah. you got someone who's very who's single. They have everything they need. They're uh, quite well off, stable. So you're looking out for yourself here. So I feel like what we have is two people looking out for themselves. Stable, reliable, single, okay. You may want to know if someone is single, okay. This could be someone who just wants to, you know, keep everything to themselves. They don't really want to reciprocate. Uh, they have everything they need. So... Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, I feel as though you're looking out for yourself. You're very focused, okay? Money, career, finances, creative pursuits, very wise. You're being very logical here, okay? So your guard is definitely up. Tell me about this Eight of Wands energy. Why is this here? Eight of Wands. Why is this here for Aquarius? Oops, there we go. Yeah, kind of weighing the pros and the cons. Something feels off in this communication. Kind of looking at it, tossing it back and forth. A little procrastinating. Got someone here who can't make up their mind, I feel, whether they want to be single or whether they want to share something. So someone who's in their head, okay? In fact, I feel both of you could be, but I do see there's a need for communication. So let's see what this Six of Swords is about. Yeah, we got someone who's in their feelings. We got someone who's definitely weighing the pros and the cons. There's love here. You got someone who has everything but love. You got someone thinking about you. They're trying to make a decision uh, to do with love. It could be someone who was juggling. Maybe you felt they were. You can't trust it though. Like this is that guarded. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You know, there's something in the communication. Someone may have been juggling. Maybe someone made a decision to move away to avoid a disaster, chose to keep their feelings to themselves. But look at that. There's something about love. Yeah, this is someone who didn't tell you everything. They kept some things to themselves. They weren't necessarily telling the truth, or they just didn't tell you everything. Okay, I think it has to do with their feelings. It's possible too that someone who had another choice, they didn't want to tell you. Someone may not have wanted to hurt someone's feelings as well here. Let's see what this rescue is. So sometimes a person who's looking to be rescued, right? You don't need to be rescued. You're the queen of wands. Maybe this person was, you know, having a hard time believing that you had feelings for them. This is someone who, yeah, there you are, Aquarius. You don't need to be rescued. <laughs> you know, you're, uh, that's an energy you're just releasing this energy so someone here I feel has got a little bit of baggage they need to let go of something you may have felt somebody you know didn't see your worth or your value they weren't really looking at you this is someone who wasn't seeing things clearly and I do see there's this energy of someone being very curious but they're not telling you everything okay about their feelings their emotions they're holding them back there's unrequited love here 
So that's what I'm seeing. This is someone who feels like you're under their league. They didn't want to tell you, okay? May have felt you were too good for them or, you know, didn't believe they were guarded, defensive, didn't be believe that you were interested in them, maybe for the right reasons. Maybe they were, you know, they're well off, and they're protecting themselves, keeping everything to themselves. So someone who's being very private. Yeah, but there, see, that's that energy of emotional fulfillment. I think you got a person here who's putting the pieces of the puzzle together. They're thinking and they're putting the pieces together. So someone who's moved away to avoid a disaster. So they're taking something they're learning from this communication and they're doing a lot of thinking. There's something they weren't seeing or didn't get or there was a lack of clear communication. Okay, maybe they didn't make themselves clear or communicate their feelings properly. So they're looking at that. This is you want someone you, you know you want someone who sees your worth and your value. You're focused on something there. Oh yeah. This is two people coming together, cooperating, compromising, you know, compatible. This is two people putting all their cups on the table. It's emotional fulfillment. Why is this ten of pentacles here? Oh, yeah, house, a home, a family, a commitment, a financial foundation. This is someone who may be quite well off. They're keeping it to themselves, not so sure they want to reciprocate. Somebody who kind of strategizes, and I, I feel as though they tossed a couple of breadcrumbs, but you didn't share all your feelings, so they kind of held back. So there's unrequited love here. So someone didn't tell you they had feelings, or somebody was juggling, okay? It could be, it could go either way. If somebody isn't juggling and you're not sure, just stick to the facts and only the facts, only what you know, okay? Don't make something true that it's not, because I see, I see two scenarios. Uh, tell me about this chariot. There we go, yeah. So this person's coming in to communicate. You're looking at the details. You're staying very much in control. You're trying to control your emotions. You're looking at it carefully. You're piecing something together, the bone collector. Someone's putting the pieces of the puzzle together here. Maybe it's yourself. There's something in the communication. Somebody wasn't telling you some kind of a truth. Possibly some of you, you felt disrespected or you, you know, lacked the faith in this person. I feel this person was wanting you to give them something so they would know, so they would feel... Um, they needed to know something too, I feel. I gotta be honest, I, I feel like it's just a bit back and forth with that energy because I can see the Princess of Cups. Now, it depends who you are. You could be the King of Swords, you could be the Queen of Swords, okay? Take it how it resonates for you. But if you're the one who was in your head and you're just dropping breadcrumbs, dropping hints for somebody uh, you wanted them to reach out, it's somebody who dangles that carrot. They're trying to get someone to share their feelings because they're not saying everything they're not being truthful it doesn't mean they're lying it's possible someone may have been juggling weighing the pros and the cons between two but there's something to do with this communication okay it's piecing something together to do with this communication about someone's worth and value you're looking at the details with the chariot you're taking your time here you're being sensible Looking out for yourself here, yeah. You're not so sure. There's something here that's not good enough. It's not right. You may have rejected it. May have taken you a little bit of time here. You tried to control your emotions. You weren't letting them rule you here, okay? Or it is possible for some of you, you let your emotions get the best of you. Uh, so it's, it has to do with an opportunity, possible missed opportunity. Yeah, so you may have slept on it, kind of thought about it, and then got back to this person. So I do feel there's some thoughts that were pinning you down or this person. I feel like you've got some mutual energy. Yeah. So you made some kind of a decision, uh, a judgment. You may have felt this person was judging you. Okay. They may have judged you wrong. Or you made a decision. You slept on it because you weren't sure. You may have dis decided to let this person go and release them. You were trying not to let your emotions rule you. They may have got the best of you. I see a little bit of drama here. I see you you know, speaking your truth, wanting to know the truth. You're being very clear. You may have been a little harsh, maybe a little judgmental. I feel both of you have judged the situation wrong. Okay, I don't know if it's a miscommunication or just a lack of clarity, but I do see the lovers in this choice. But we have this person here who's feeling love. 
Someone's moved away to avoid a disaster, but I do feel they're coming back to make peace. This is someone who's hoping to be rescued. They were hoping you were going to give them something. Okay, so it's a, it, that's what I feel, yeah. So it's two people manifesting, having all the tools and the information they need to put things back together. Someone now has the tools. So we've got a person here. I do see a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, the Pisces energy. So someone who's... Um, someone who already knows everything they need to know. They're going within, though, searching for answers within as they manifest this. They're gathering info. They're looking at this communication. I feel this person's going to reach out. I do. They're going to make a decision to reach out. But I feel as though it's, you know, it has to be, I, I think you're going to sleep on it. I don't think you're going to rush into it. It has to do with a decision to release someone. I do think there's something that needs to be cleared up and healed. This is that energy. Two cards of healing and releasing. The thoughts that pin you down, hold you down, okay? It's clearing the head, clearing out negative thoughts and letting it go. For some of you, I feel as this person sent you some kind of a message, you replied to this person and they didn't reciprocate right away. You may There may be some kind of assumption where you felt this person was juggling. It's possible they may have not been telling you they had a choice between two. I do see this connection though. This is two people who adore each other, who value each other. This is a need to heal, to release something, okay, to let go, to make a decision. Two people who adore each other need to talk and communicate and share their feelings. Someone didn't tell you that there was, they had feelings, that they were in love. They didn't, I don't think you got enough clarity to believe something here. Yeah, so someone who was afraid to take a risk. They didn't want to take that risk. They didn't want to look like a fool. Yeah, you see, someone's ego, so there's some kind of rejection here. Because uh, someone didn't want to look like a fool by putting themselves out there only to be rejected. Yeah, this has to do with the new beginning. Something needs to be exposed. I think this person's going to come towards you and express themselves. I feel they have the tools they need. They're piecing something together, kind of like what happened, Okay. And they're learning to trust their intuition. This is their inner wisdom. They're being wise. They already knew everything they needed to know, but they needed to kind of look at it. It's also an energy where, you know, I, I feel there's definitely some trust issues overall. Yeah, it's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Things are about to shift in your favor. I think this person was trying to get things to go in their favor. They were hoping you were going to give them something. You were going to share your feelings, but it's like nobody wanted to take this risk. Uh, to share that love, the feelings. But there is some kind of connection and bond. There's definitely chemistry. It's two people who see each other's worth and value, but it's not being shared verbally is what I feel. Okay, there's a lot of thinking going on, not a lot of talking. <laughs> this is two people who need to listen to each other as well. Yeah, this person wants to connect. They want to give you this opportunity. Some of you aren't taking a risk. I can the other scenarios. This person may be juggling. You may be coming to that realization. They're, they're not focused on you. Something in the communication that wasn't focused on you. It made you feel a little bit emotional. It got your guard up. Get your walls up. You're definitely in protective mode, looking out for yourself. You're not so sure this person had your best interests. There's a lot, a lot of un uncertainty here. But those of you who feel someone was juggling, there's something in here, in this communication, in the details of this communication, where it made you not feel like taking a risk. So you may have decided to just release this person. You took a risk, hoping this person would get back to you and say something, or they did, okay? So it goes either way. It depends who you are in this reading. But it has to do with the sun, Okay, yeah, it has to do with two people being on the same page, the same path, uh, two people talking and communicating. Uh, it's an, an energy of two people agreeing on something. So it's how this person conducted themselves. There's something to do with the way they conducted themselves, a habit, tradition, uh, some kind of belief. There's a lack of faith. But I do think this person has some kind of newfound faith here because uh, I feel they're piecing something together, something that happened. So... 
you had an on and off relationship with someone, maybe they were involved with someone else. I don't know. I don't honestly see it for sure, but it's possible for some of you. So yeah, it's an energy with the Queen of Pentacles. You're being sensible. You want things to go in your favor. You're grounded, okay? You're focused on your money, career, things like that. Uh, not so sure if you've seen a future with this person. There's something in the communication that you weren't comfortable with. So I feel as though it's like you kind of took your power back. This is somebody who's trying to take your power. And it's not because they're trying to control you. It's because they feel like you're going to, you were going to reject them. They didn't want to look like a fool to tell you that they loved you first. So there, there's feelings here. I don't know what this person's issues are, though. What is, what's with this King of Cups? This is someone quite sensitive. Oh, yeah. King of Cups, the birth of something new. This is how they feel about you. See you as this empress, this beautiful energy. Right. This person feels like you're out of their league, so I feel that's why they're a little guarded. They have a hard time believing that you feel the same way they do. Reciprocity. So they were looking to be rescued, you see. They, this person could be somebody who's, you know, having a hard time believing, you know. They failed to recognize something. They did feel fail to recognize something here and have missed an opportunity because of it. In fact, you both kind of have in some way. Um, but, I, you know, the, the, the strongest energy is this person. This feeling as though what they didn't see is this empress energy. Where you know your worth, you know your value. You were open to this. You weren't really sure where this is going. You were willing to take this risk. But I think they weren't. They they took a little risk, but I feel they didn't really. It's unrequited love. They they didn't tell you exactly how they felt. They weren't clear. Because they weren't sure. They were curious, right? And they weren't sure how you felt. That's what I feel. Um, and it's like maybe they felt you were looking to be rescued, you know, something to do with finances. So they're, this is someone who's definitely in that energy. They are, I'm going to tell you, they're financially stable. They have everything they need. They're quite private. This is someone who sticks to themselves, a little bit of an introvert, spend a lot of time in their head. But they see you, someone who dresses nice, you look nice, you take care of your house and home. They fail to recognize your empress energy. Someone made a, a choice here. Yeah, but there's something they said that didn't make you feel comfortable. So I do feel there's a need for some kind of aha moment. They're, they're getting this aha moment. They didn't make you feel comfortable. You didn't feel safe, okay, because they didn't share enough with you. Okay, but you didn't either by the looks of it. You kept your feelings to yourself. You became blocked, guarded, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Aw. Aquarius. I do see this person seeing the truth. Oh, yeah. The truth is they find you very sexy, very attractive. There's definitely that energy of room for growth, this passionate new beginning, this truth. This person wants to tell you the truth. They were trying to get things to go in their favor. They may have manipulated a little by saying something to get you to tell them what they needed to hear as well. Yeah, you know, that standoff kind of energy. Uh, yeah, let's see what the outcome is. This person, they got the tools. They're putting the pieces together, the pieces of the puzzle of what happened, okay? Yeah, what they need to do. Now, this could be something that happens over a period of days, weeks, month, maybe longer for some of you. This could be a whole year, a whole cycle. But I'm going to tell you, this person already knows everything they need to know. They have all, they, you know, they, they're gathering info. This is the bone collector with them. So someone who has all the tools, the information, the pieces. They're putting the pieces together. Two people who've come apart, coming back together again. This is the pieces of the puzzle. Okay, yeah, see, there's something that needs to be cleaned up. That needs to be cleared up, cleaned up, clearing the air, clearing things up from whatever it is that's happening here. This person seeing you as the empress. They're looking at this birth of something new, seeing you in a whole new way, seeing this situation in a whole new way. 
Let me look. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is this person's intentions? Change. Yeah, this person's ready for change. They're thinking of coming back around. They wonder if you've changed how you feel. Okay. It's room for growth. Tell me more about this change with the world. Yeah, so someone here. They're not so sure if they should come back around or if they should just keep moving on. But I think this person wants to make peace. I do think they have gone through some kind of change. Uh, they're taking something that they've learned here uh, and moving forward. They're coming in. They want to make peace. Now, this could be closure for some of you. Okay. If it matters to you, some people it does. Some people it doesn't. Uh, maybe it does to this person. But I feel this person definitely did not want to take a risk. They didn't want to look like a fool. No, they held back. They didn't tell you that they had feelings, that there was love here. Some time. I do feel time. This person has a tendency to procrastinate. But I felt feel that you felt something was off in the communication. Something wasn't right. It didn't feel right. So you, in, a, in turn, also Aquarius, okay, were afraid to take a risk. You aren't going to risk it, okay? You've taken risks probably in the past, <laughs> You know, yeah. Aw. Cleaning house, yeah. The magic prayer. This is manifesting the magic prayer. This person wants to clear something up. They're piecing the, putting the pieces of the puzzle together. This person wants to come towards you. They want to build something here. Yeah, they're finding that strength and confidence. I don't think this person was confident. I feel they felt you were out of their league. The situation seemed out of reach. Now, it could be yourself, too. Sometimes when you're in that Empress energy, you're holding yourself up very high, a little out of reach for this person. could be something to do with communication because it looks like you stood up to this person. You stood up to your beliefs, okay? Very passionate about your beliefs, how you're seeing things. They definitely, I'm going to tell you, they find you attractive, creative, hardworking. They see your strengths. This person, you are very strong. They see you as somebody who's very strong, very powerful. Yeah, they see you as someone who's a manifester. You're capable. This person is seeing that Empress energy. They're going to, I think you're going to hear from this person. I think they're going to come in quite suddenly out of the blue. Oh, they're ready to cooperate and compromise. It's going to take both people to build each other up. That's an energy of two people rescuing each other, okay? Boosting each other and up here to gain that strength and confidence to put all those emotions out there on the table. This is about the future. Marriage commitment to people who value each other to build a beautiful foundation, a happy home, happy life. Uh, there's going to be a reason to celebrate. This could actually take off. If this is one of these situations where it's on and off, it could actually take off. This person, yeah. So take it a little slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Finding that strength and confidence. It'd be a while, maybe, some of you, since you heard from this person. But this is someone who was controlling their emotions and they lost control. Now, it could be you, could be them. But it's an energy of control. I feel as though you took your power back. They were trying to take your power, but not in a way where they were trying to control you. Okay? Maybe that's something that you felt here. Because I do see that energy more so with yourself than them. <laughs> There is a little, there is some Aries Leo Sag energy here, though, no doubt. There's some fire, uh, water, earth, and air. So, wow. Yeah, slow and, sled, slow and steady wins the race here. Justice and balance. This is about doing the right thing. This is somebody here who is thinking about commitment. Seeing you may have been just right. Okay. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah, so you want this person to come in right. They didn't come in right. They didn't communicate something the way you wanted. But I do see you raising the bar. Just so be a little cautious. Temper your words. Try to control your emotions. Don't let them get the best, the best of you. Okay? Wow. So let's see what the universe has to say. Yeah, you want them to come in right. You want to speak your truth. You're teaching someone how you want to be treated. But be a little bit careful, okay? Yeah, it all depends what happened. You may have cut them out. If it is someone who cheated or were juggling, you know, you're definitely not going to be a pushover. Um, but it, if, if there is no uh, cheating or juggling, uh, 
This is just someone who was afraid to take a risk to share their feelings. They weren't sure you would reciprocate. This is somebody who was afraid of being rejected. This is someone who can't bear the thought of rejection, okay? Uh, because they absolutely do adore you. I can see the energy. There's love here between two people, a bond, a connection, building. Aquarius, what does the universe have to say? The universe want to tell you, Aquarius. There we go. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. Food for thought there. Whew, that does actually have a lot to do with this reading. Let's see, this is an energy of guarded, defensive, feeling attacked, feeling like you need to protect yourself. There's something here that you feel you needed to stand up for. You felt guarded on the way they communicated something. Any form of separation is merely calls for help, rescue. See, this person moved away. They were, you know, where you did. You were hoping maybe you um, called this person out, spoke to them, spoke your truth, hoping they would come towards you and reach out. And maybe they didn't. Well, I feel they're going to. Okay. Yeah. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's pretty deep. It's this person seeing things different. They missed an opportunity. They're seeing things, okay? You're teaching this person about love here, about coming in right. But I do feel there's lessons here for yourself, okay? Yeah. little passive aggressive energy here. When I lean on faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So it's about making peace between two people. Look at that. We have two owls. Isn't that just interesting? Two owls. That's that wisdom. That's that uh, being two people very wise, very smart, very intelligent here. Um, but I do feel there's a lack of clear communication. Ah. Uh, good. Making peace here. Putting something behind. Could be closure. This could be important to this person. They may have valued you, uh, held you in very high regard. You know, maybe you felt that way about them, but something didn't work out here. I feel like it very well could, but it's up to you to make that decision. I choose love no matter what. So it's choosing love, loving yourself first as well. Okay. Yeah. You got a person who's about to uh, come in and open up here and i think the two of you need to build each other up a little bit it's like re both of you need to rescue each other you're both kind of we're looking for the same thing for the other person to risk it okay uh, to share those feelings and emotion it's a, taking a risk on commitment going down that path it's about whether you're compatible or not there's a need to know more okay so i wish you guys the very best take care it's all food for thought give it a chance to play out and we'll see you soon.